Now to the heartbreaking service this morning, remembering a five-year-old boy who tragically lost his life in a fire. Police say Malachi Stovall was tucked into his bed in his Portland Avenue home when it was intentionally set on fire. He was trapped on the second floor and eventually rescued by firefighters, but was left severely burned and died days later. Authorities later arresting and charging two sisters, to Kayla and to Quita Hendricks, accusing them of setting that fire on purpose. They're charged with murder and arson. No motive has been disclosed. Malachi's family pleading for justice tonight. 13 Wham's Natalie Calzatoni was invited to cover his funeral service this morning. Natalie, good evening. Karen, good evening. As you might imagine, it was a very emotional morning as family and friends of Malachi Stovall described the little boy as sweet, smart, friendly, and gone way too soon. <laughs> Family and friends gathering to remember Malachi Stovall at the Father's House Church in Chai Lai. He was so beloved. So beloved. Musical tributes for Malachi rang through the church. As loved ones recalled the young boy's joyous spirit Monday morning. The Father's House pastor, Josh Jansen, shared words from Malachi's family at the memorial service. Malachi loved to talk to everybody. He knew all about excavators and Sonic the Hedgehog, which are really the final things in life. He loved to cheer everybody up and always wanted to smile on everyone and always loved to smile on everyone's face. He loved nature walks and going on adventures, and uh, even won the Earth Award at a school for caring the most about the environment. Mommy's a big, brave boy. Me and you, baby, always. There will always be a big boy in Bree's world because you are no longer physically with her. However, we will continue to remind her in that she is. With you. Now, Malachi's family prepare to say goodbye. And according to the district attorney's office, Takela and Taquita Hendricks appeared in court this morning and a grand jury voted to indict on at least one felony account. Karen?